Hello, Vermonters. Uh, this is Mary, you might remember. She's a few months old now and out with the herd. Uh, you may know I'm running for Senate of uh, Orange County. And I see that a political issue that has been rather um, significant lately, there's the bull, there's daddy, <laughs> is um, the issue of abortion and the potential for Roe versus Wade to be reversed. And I think that in Vermont, it's really not an issue in the sense that Vermont will never have, or at least has no prospect right now of having a, a, a majority population that would ban abortion from conception. 79% of Vermonters in one poll would, though, prohibit abortions in late in the, in, in the, the pregnancy, particularly where uh, that um, viability standard is met, that Roe, met, uh, Roe in, it created. Because Roe also recognized fetal personhood in that sense. Now, Vermont does not. And I've been involved in cases over the years, and, and including here in Vermont, where a woman loses a child uh, because of the violent actions of a man or uh, of a drunken or drug-induced assault or drunk driving or other things. And there have been many such cases, and it just does not seem to me to be protective of women and their value that they place on that life to say that at no stage will that be protected. So that's really what fetal personhood is about, and that is an issue in Vermont. But aside from that, I personally, I don't, our issues will be running on the issue of the economy and parental choice and to help it with farming. Aside from whether or not Proposal 5 passes, Vermont has, you know, very few late term, uh, late term abortions performed, I believe. I don't think that anybody supports those. But aside from that, there's no threat to the rights of women in Vermont to have these procedures. And uh, I'm not advocating for that at all, but I'm just saying that uh, fetal personhood seems to me to be the more prominent issue that we as a state have to, to face. Roe was never a good case, but it also, it, it, it always spared Americans having the, the conflict and division that we're gonna have now, trying to have a patchwork across the nation. And there probably will need to be some kind of federal legislation to resolve that, because otherwise you'd have complete extremes of rights in the states. And Vermont will have a voice in that, but my voice in the Senate will be about helping farms, uh, encouraging better schools. We, we have some of the most expensive schools in the country, uh, per capita, perhaps the most. And to, to look at these budgets that are out of control and the pensions that have not been funded with this great opportunity to fund them. And we now have a, a budget growing faster even than this inflation in the state of Vermont. So please look uh, more at carforsenate.com and uh, please get educated so that you can have people that are going to advocate for some really important issues in, in Montpelier. So thanks for joining me with the cows on this beautiful spring day. My name is John Clara and I approve of this message.